Can a single battery hold the power to change the world? Do you want to know? It's an amazing production process. Hello everyone, I'm Kiki. Today, I'll take you on an immersive exploration of the factory to see how what cycled batteries are actually born. The first step, cell inspection. The cells used in our watt cycle batteries are a plus grade cells. As soon as the cells arrive at the factory, the workers will conduct a 360 degree inspection of the appearance. Only when they are ensured to be brand new and undamaged, will they proceed to the next step. The second step, battery pairing. In this step, the voltage and internal resistance of the cells need to be accurately measured. Only cells with consistent parameters are eligible to be teamed up and arranged together. The third step, battery welding. After the cells are lined up, an epoxy board is first pasted on the negative electrode. This is a little guard to prevent short circuits between the positive and negative electrodes. Then, an aluminum plate is placed, and through excellent welding technology, they are connected in series and parallel to obtain the desired voltage and capacity. After that, the wiring harness is arranged to connect the cells so that signals can be transmitted in real time, allowing the BMS system to isolate monitor the voltage and temperature of each cell. Subsequently, connect the positive and negative electrodes of the protection board and the wiring harness and then it's ready to be placed in the bracket. Now, we can start placing it in the bracket. Once the battery assembly is completed, it will be sent to the aging room for testing. From the aging report, you can clearly see the battery capacity, charge and discharge curves, and aging data. When all the indicators of the battery are qualified, the last step is packaging. Connect the positive and negative wires of the protection board to the battery case. Put on the cover and the qualified watt cycle battery is completed. Do you get it?